Wade and Wade Reacts. What's up, YouTube? We're about to watch and react to the men's 100 meter final at the World Championships. Let's check it out. This 35,000 seat stadium built specifically for these World Championships are ready to host the fastest men in the world. And coming He's out, excited, coming Kenya, out dancing. Ferdinand Omanyala. He's already made history. He is the first Kenyan man to make a world championship 100 meter final. Kenyan, putting late on night. for his country. Yeah. He's enjoying it. He was teetering right on the brink of making it, not making it, making it, not making it. He did. He did enough to do it on time. Dude was kind of big for Tomoko, a sprinter too. Botswana. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. The I was like, man, his physique field. is Remember impressive. Remember this man's name. Because 991 and 1950 in the 200 at 20 means he is special. He's, He's trying to become dude. the first African man to win a world championship 100 meter medal, as is Omanyala. At just 24, this guy has a lot of experience and a lot of speed. A three-time Japanese champion, Abdul Hakim Sani Brown. When he made the final last year in Eugene at Worlds, he was the first Japanese man to do so. He has now made two in a row, but now he's trying to get onto the podium. Watch the focus on the face of 2019 world champion, Team USA's Christian Coleman. If he can keep his nerve lead for the last 40, he can be world champion again. Make no mistake about it. Silver in 2017, gold in 2019. Talk about an exciting young talent. The 22-year-old from Jamaica. This is Oblique Seville. A long He's career coached by Usain Bolt's former coach. Yeah, he does. Last year, I had Hopefully him on the he podium. He finished fourth behind yeah. the U.S. sweep. Has he learned enough in a year to yeah, run the way he's been running sport. through the rounds? Nobody's been close to him through the rounds. Zahn El Hughes said, people have counted me out in the past. I dug deep. I got myself out of a pretty bad spot, and here I am in the world final. He has to get out of his own way. He false started in the Olympic final, and he has had some false start problems before, but if he can overcome those, he's mm -hmm. on the podium as well. Ah, uh, yes. It's showtime. It's go time for Noah Lyles, two-time world 200 champ. He has a shot Came out with the to begin his quest yes, to do the double in the perfect way. I don't think anybody is coming into this race with more confidence based on the semifinal. He looked the best in the semifinal, he and Seville. And that's a problem for everybody else because when Noah Lyles is confident, it doesn't matter the distance, he is going to give you the best race he has ever run. Raheem Ford, Atili Tobogo, Coleman Hughes, and Lyles. You'll get to see the two Americans just two lanes apart. Sonny Brown, Omanyala. Push Noah Lyles in the heat. And then Noah clipped it up to another gear in his semi-final. <laughs> yeah, the main I, I draw feel also the intensity. favors Lyles yeah. because he's next to Seville, who we think will start well. I don't think he's going to be worried about Hughes, but he's close enough to Coleman, who we expect to get the best start in four. Fred Curley not I know he can on the line. He was eliminated in the semifinal. There will be a new world champion. There's Noah's mum. She is a fixture by both of her son's side when they compete. But it's showtime for Noah now. The men's 100 meter final here at these Budapest World Championships. Oh, they did. Coleman gets that wow. characteristic, fantastic start. Noah Lyles is going to have to find something special. Let's see it tomorrow. Oh, Noah Lyles led right at the line. That was a tough race. Hey, everybody was neck and neck, it seemed like. Yeah. That was close. 984 the time. They're waiting on confirmation as well. Coleman had a good start. Yeah, that was a really good race right They're there. Waiting. <laughs> talk that talk. Come on now. A 
America, you have a problem. You have now let Noah Lyles figure out the 100. He is not going back just to the 200. And he will be favored in the 200. And he has a chance now to do the first double of these championships since 2015. Oh, we can. There's no way you could have seen how he Me looked too. in that semifinal and not thought that he had a legitimate chance at winning the whole thing. And he's done just that. The United States wins their fourth 100-meter world title in a row. 2017, Justin Gatlin. 2019, Christian Coleman. Last year was Fred Curley. And now, Noah Lyles, four in a row for the United States. 9.83 for Noah Lyles. Zanel Hughes Dang, gets it's gonna be another race. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He looks and super disappointed. And I understand he worked so hard for this this court. moment, this exact moment. And How fell short. The yeah. from so I know that has to be hard, especially competing at this level. This was stiff competition, though. Yeah, definitely. Everybody was neck and neck. Yeah. You just got to make like a few tweaks to uh -huh. improve that start. Yeah. Oh, boy. He might have it. You know what? He backed up the talk. He backed up the talk. Not so just I did. that. Remember, go. Noah Lyles has never made a U.S. 100-meter team in his life. That's so not only did he crazy. come here making his first U.S. team, but then he defeats the rest of the world. He has been in the 200 looking at the 100 and thinking, I can I thought he was sad. I guess I he's happy he won the bronze medal. Yeah. Now he's the world he's champion. still placed. That's impressive. Good That's impress impressive to place Good luck with that. No in such a competitive has race. A lot to crow about, and he has backed it up, as you said. He's going to be a problem in the Olympics goal. next year. Oh, yeah. Because I think he played. I think he got the bronze. Uh-huh. In the Olympics, so in Bobo 20, wins what was it, 2022? The very first medal for an African male in getting second, and Hughes overcame some of his issues that he has had in finals and gets a bronze for Great Britain. So the other guy was, was the first, first African to place in the 100 meter. For Great Britain in that's, that's something to be proud years. of. Yeah. Unreal. Definitely something to be proud what of. What a night here in Budapest. And you may have heard Noah say to the camera, you told he me drawing I couldn't this celebration. Get this now time. he got to though. I have. Putting on for the country. So we're getting another look at the anatomy of Noah Lyle's first hundred meter world title. Look at how he had to hold his composure at oh, the he, end. And this yeah. is why we felt like he would be a threat for the podium because nobody holds their nerve and their form in the last 40 of any race more than Noah. So combine speed. that with his great starts. Oh, he asked that everybody. Including mm -hmm. the one he had in the semifinal. He figured out his acceleration during these rounds. He didn't have to come from as far back as he has been having to come in prior years. And when you let him get close, think Usain Bolt. When you let him get close, the higher top end speed is always going His to mama take him to the, energy, to the front. <laughs> and mom enjoyed this one. Keisha saying, did he win? Did he win? Tell yeah, me, your did son he win? Won. He won. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, the legend Usain Bolt put his arms around this young man earlier this year and said, keep doing what you're doing. Keep the flair. Keep the emotion. Keep the showman. The sport needs it. And the sport's got it. Noah Lyles as a world 100 meter champion. That is called backing up your talk. Sure when is. He put his goals out there, 9-6. He definitely backed it and up. 19-1. People said, well, he's never going to run 9-6. I don't think that he matters. He got the silver. The point is you put your goals out there you, you let the people goal. know hey i am oh, not bronze, being shy about me. what i want i want to be a hundred meter contender i want to be a hundred meter world champion he's accomplished that now <laughs> you, what kind of confidence do you think noah lies is going to head into the 200 meters with look out and let's fa let's fast forward to that just a little bit last year he was not running as fast as he is now and he got very close to the world record Look out when those 200 meter finals run around. He wants Usain Bolt's record of 19. I thought Bro was sad at first, but those are tears of joy. Yeah. As he should be. Yeah, he, well has, done. he has spent a lot of years trying to get on a world class podium. He's finally done it now. Congrats to the Brits. Their first 100 meter world championship medal in 20 years. Oh, that's an accomplishment. That's impressive. He, he should be extremely proud of himself. I think the creators of, of Japanese anime need to make a Noah Lyles character. I think 
they will now. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z move over. You betcha. Oh, the road to Paris 2024 just got a whole lot smoother for Noah Lyles. World champion already two times in the 200. He's now out at the 100. Noah, you told us that if you were going to be one of the greatest athletes ever, you had to do special things. Yep. And special things were doubling at the World Championships, and you have done something that is completely unexpected and incredible. So explain to us what this moment feels like now as 100-meter world champion. First of all, it was unexpected to everybody else. Right. I believe in myself. I believe in God. I believe in the mission that me and my coach have. We traded nine months for this, for this moment right here. You only got one shot to hit your peak, and we made sure that it counted. And like you said, to do great things, you know, to be one of the legends, you got to win the 100, and then you got to win the 200, and then you got to win the 400, four by one. This right here is ticket number one. We got two more to go, and I'm feeling really good about the 200. Two more go. to go. Let's step back to the introductions, which were really exciting, but then in the blocks, take us there in that moment and the start and the way you came down the track. Yeah, after the semi round, I knew that if I got the same start, it would be over. That's what my coach said as soon as I got back. He said, you don't need to do anything different. I don't care where they are in the race. You just need to do what you did in that semifinals. And I was like, all right, I don't need to do anything extra. We got out of them blocks. And I still took my first step. And I knew where I was. And I'm like, you guys didn't get out far enough. And, you know? But uh, before we end this question, hey, uh, Otto, who, who, who did you put your money on? <laughs> Otto, you want to reply they to that? They were flying. Hey, listen. For sure. He's 100% right because I thought that he would come here and have to figure out his start and his acceleration. He did that. Congrats to the man. I deserve that. Yeah, he said that he thought you had to figure out your acceleration and your start, and you did that. So congrats to you. As we look back at that replay, you had a special moment once again with your mom after it was all over. I know this has been a big time family and team affair. What's that experience like? It has. You know, uh, I, I really give my mom panic attacks when I run the 100. As we said last I can year, see that. you know, the 200 is, is my wife, it's my, my loyal, and uh, the <laughs> girl. <laughs> and uh, I might have flirted with the side girl a lot this, uh, today. So I gotta go make it up to the 200 on, uh, on Wednesday. <laughs> Absolutely, one final question, Noah. I know that the 200 is your baby and that's the one you're here for. You know, uh, how does this 100 fit into the 200? Because you need 0.13 seconds, 13 hundredths of a second, to get from your American record in the 200 to break Bolt's 200 meter world record. How does this tonight help you with that goal? What we did tonight is we PR'd in the 100 by a, a good margin, and we did it after many rounds. You know, as, if, as we look at the 200, we're looking at many margins, and we just made that up in my, the weakest part of my race. So as we go into the 200, and I improve on the weakest part of my race, the, the, the good parts only get better. Noah Lyles, congratulations. 100 meter world champion as you expected. As I expected. Thank you, Lewis. Yes, sir. So there you have it. Noah Lyles shocked the world and won, I believe, his first 100 meter in the world championship and placed first and got the gold medal. You yeah, ain't shocked me. When I seen him race, I think we did a video on him what, a couple of months ago. Uh -huh. I knew he was going to get it at the Worlds. Oh, yeah. Because he just keeps improving. And then we have the 200 coming up, and that's, like he said, his wife. That's a speciality. <laughs> so we can expect for him to place first again and claim that gold medal yeah. with the 200 meter as well. Yeah, it makes some history. Yeah, congrats to Noel Lyles. Congrats to the USA. One of the commentators said America has a problem. I think he said it wrong. America has a solution, and he's a problem for the other countries. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, that does it for our reaction to the men's 100 meter final at the World Championships. Don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss a video from Wade and Wade Reacts. And we out of here. Peace.